Hey guys, what's going on? TennoCon just ended yesterday, and I wanted to make a video going over all the important stuff in case you missed it. We got some pretty exciting announcements about the new zone, some new items, and a new port to console. Warframe is going to be coming to Switch, which is pretty exciting for anybody who owns a Switch and wants to play it there. Right now, Digital Extreme seems to be open to porting accounts onto the Switch if you want to change over, giving players access to their preferred option for gaming. For me, I'm going to be sticking around on PC, but for those people out there who would prefer to play on their Switches, this is good news for them. It's just going to give people more options to play, which I think is always good. Other than that, DE also announced some cool-looking deluxe skins that are going to be coming in the next few months. Right now, we have concept art for the Nyx, Limbo, and Titania skins. And they showed off a couple models for both Neja and Nidus, so hopefully those will both be coming pretty soon. Personally, I think the Nidus one looks pretty amazing, and I'm going to get that as soon as I can. Oh, and there's also going to be a Valbound skin coming out as well. They also went over the next two Warframes that are going to be coming out, Revenant and Garuda. Hopefully we'll be getting some more news on Revenant pretty soon. I know when they first announced him, people weren't super excited about his skill set, but we'll see if he goes through any changes before he gets released. And then personally, I'm more excited for Garuda, who's being designed by Pablo, who, if you guys aren't aware, is the same person who designed Harrow and was responsible for the Saren rework, which I think turned out really well. So I'm a fan of his work, and I'm excited to see what he does with the new Warframe. And her giant fan-like claws look pretty cool. They did say that she's going to be more of like a gore-focused Warframe, which sounds really good to me. Other than that, there's going to be a prime unvaulting for both Nyx and Rhino. Uh, Nyx, Nyx is probably not the best Warframe right now, but Rhino's really good. And I'm sorry to all you guys who's, who've been saving up your Rhino sets to sell for Platinum. But this is definitely going to take the price. If you're a new player, this is fantastic for you, because you're going to have access to one of the best prime frames. And if you like the Graham Sword, it looks like that's going to be one of the next prime items. As for the meaty part of the TennoCon presentation, they showed some gameplay from Fortuna. This is going to be the next Planes of Eidolon-like zone on Venus. And Rebecca did walk us through some of the new NPCs that are going to be around. Overall, these seem pretty similar to the Planes of Eidolon NPCs that sell different items for rep and allow you to customize your own gear. Two of the customizable items they showed us are the new MOA pets, which you can mix and match parts on similar to Zaws, and then the new component weapons called Kit Guns that basically look like Zaws secondaries. They haven't really gone over the mechanics for these, but on first look they look pretty promising and they're definitely going to add some more content to the game, which is always good. I just hope the farming for these is a little more enjoyable than farming up the Zaws. But as other people have already commented, it does look like there's going to be mining nodes on the new Venus map. So love it or hate it, it looks like mining is here to stay. They also showed one more vendor, and instead of fishing in Fortuna, it looks like we're going to be able to hunt and trap animals that we can then bring back to this vendor. Maybe we'll be able to use them as pets, or we'll use them in some other way. It's a little unclear how the system will work as of yet, but the white-breasted vermin that they showed in the demo was pretty cute. So at least there's that. Quickly, tank it with a beacon, and I'll send in a relocation drone. <laughs> And then we also got a sneak peek at the new bounty system. It looks pretty similar to the old one, with the exception of being able to requeue for bounties inside of the zone itself, so we won't be needing to travel back and forth to Fortuna constantly like we do with Cetus, which is definitely a huge plus for the new zone. The base is theirs, which means you can now take bounties here without returning. They also showed a new way of traveling around the environment with the hoverboards, which looks pretty cool. And you're able to do tricks and things like that, which looks like it'll definitely break up the traveling between different areas. Oh, there's a good jump coming up. And they also teased these giant mech spider things that, that it's unclear what we're going to be using them for yet. 
but my hope is that they're similar boss-like creatures to Eidolons in the new zone. Overall, Fortuna looks like it's going to be adding a whole lot of new content to Warframe, and it seems like they've really learned from some of the mistakes they made when making the Plains of Eidolon. So I'm definitely excited for the new expansion, and I hope you guys are too. The next thing they showed off was their new game mode, Railjack. This basically looks like Space Pirates to me. In this mode, you and a couple other people pilot a ship into the atmosphere and launch an assault on one of Nef Anyo's crafts, which sounds pretty fun. It's a little unclear how exactly it'll work, but you can obviously shoot things while you're in space, and there seems to be some sort of console in the ship where it looks like you can customize your playstyle to fit what you're doing. Some of the Corpus enemies can board you, and you can also board the Corpus ship to launch a ground assault. and mark the ship's core for your teammates to destroy, using your ship. This is it, Operator! Don't miss! Overall, this game mode looks really fun, and if it's done right, it could be a great addition to the game. Right now, all we have is the demo footage to go off of, so we don't know what kind of rewards or gear this might give us. But I'm definitely excited for the future possibilities. And finally, spoilers if you haven't finished the sacrifice quest, but they teased the continuation of that storyline with the new war. I've really enjoyed the cinematic quest so far, so I'm excited to see what they have planned for the future. And beat the crap out of the Lotus for betraying us. But I hope you guys are as excited as I am for some of the new content, and especially Fortuna, which will hopefully be coming out in the near future. But I'm curious what you guys were most excited for during TennoCon. Let me know in the comments below. That's going to do it for me today. I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll be back tomorrow with the Matarai Focus School video. and daughters hide the heart of who we are making peace to build a future strong united working till we call the air and water